My name is Mrinalini. I live in Pune, India, a city of 5 million people. Pune is 150 kilometers southeast of Mumbai. Pune is known as a city of education and industry. Pune is a thriving IT hub and been growing fast since the last two decades with many well-paid professionals. But I work in slums with waste pickers here for the unforgotten. I'm on my way to the slum of Panmala Vasahat with my daughter Ravi to check up on the women in our program. Slum community is a neighborhood or commune in itself. It is heterogeneous in character with very dense population living in small houses, generally made up of tin sheets. Their home typically consists of one or two small rooms where large families cook, eat, wash, and sleep. Due to lack of sanitation and other basic amenities, the surrounding is unhygienic. But the women keep their households very clean. Many of the women are single mothers, either abandoned, widowed, or divorced. Most of all of the 10,000 or so waste pickers in Pune live in slums. Waste pickers are an invisible class of workers, but if you look hard, they can be found in many parts of the world. Mostly women, the waste pickers support themselves by scavenging dump sites and garbage containers for scraps of material. Rekha, one of the waste pickers, starts off to work around 7 a.m. each day. Like many of us, Rekha commutes on a bus, but she has a dirty job ahead of her. Often these women will cut their hands on broken glass and they're prone to infections. It's 9 a.m. and the garbage is ready at the collection point for the truck. KKPKP and SWATCH are two non-governmental organizations working hard for the rights of waste pickers. Because of their efforts, now they make $50 to $80 a month as a user fees from households they visit while searching for recyclables. When their route is finished, it's time to sell what they have found. The typical buyer for them is a middleman. He will weigh the sorted waste and purchase and pay them. Usually the waste picker would earn 150 rupees, approximately two to three dollars per day. The trash will be further sorted before selling to another recycling firm. The unforgotten mission is to continue to improve these women's lives. 
Not only is this a matter of money, it's also a matter of dignity. क्या ही पता सुनो थी कि मुलाना ये उड़ी फिर भरा जी। They have been uh, with us uh, with Unforgotten now, and uh, we have given support to uh, the girl child, both of them in the family, and she is saying that it was really timely and very helpful. Using a grant from Dining for Women, we will have the money to start our micro loan program through self help groups. This program would be a big help to Rekha who works from a card selling, combs, nail polish and the like. She would like to have a shop of her own one day. Maina would like a $200 loan to expand her costume jewelry business. She would use this money to buy her stocks. The problem is that the interest rates are so high here in the city, they can be as much as 30% a month. One of the ways we've been helping the women is by providing them sewing classes. Being a seamstress in India is a very good way to earn extra income. Our women are already able to make blouses and dresses. The unforgotten breaks the cycle of poverty by ensuring that their daughters have greater opportunities. Kajal is a girl now in 10th grade at the school. But it's not often easy for girls like her to complete the graduation as they also help out their mothers doing household chores. Many of our children go to a private school nearby. The Unforgotten helps them by providing with the school fees. They often need guidance in studies, which is difficult to get from their parents as they are either illiterate or very less educated. Thus, we try to support them with fees for extra tuitions apart from the school. The costs of providing tuition and school supplies for the girls comes to about $200 per year. Before the Unforgotten became involved, many of these girls were at a risk of dropping out of school and become waste pickers themselves. Their future appears much brighter now. Working with and gaining the trust of the women can be really difficult. Making my job a lot easier are my two assistants, Priya and Shilpa. Priya's mother is a waste picker. Priya is appearing for 12th grade exam and also working with me for the cause in Panmala Vasahal. Similarly, Shilpa, who is also appearing for 10th grade, helps me by mobilizing the women for meeting in Rajiv Gandhi Nagar, the other slum area, ensuring that our sponsored children attend classes. With a very short period of training, both of them have even handled a camera and took much of the footage for this film. It's kind of empowerment by skill building along with the work. With this, we are hopeful about making a difference in the lives of as many women and girls as possible.